Hi lovelies and thanks for stopping back in. As you saw in the title, I have another luxury item versus dupe comparison. This time though, I actually have the real designer deal and then I have the knockoffs that I'm gonna share with you guys. So I'm super excited to share this with you and also that being because this is about my fairy tale wedding shoe and I have not taken them out of the box since I got them and I showed them to you in the first place. So I'm really excited that I'm gonna look at my beauties again and then, you know, I'm gonna put them on my feet. Obviously, I'll have to show you what they are. Okay, first of all, no. In advance, I didn't know that there was a dupe for my Jimmy Choo Viola 110s, okay? Um, but I posted something on TikTok, and yes, if you don't follow me on TikTok, you probably should. It's Lace Love and Laura over there as well. I make lots of fun, short little videos, so I promise you that you'll be entertained over there as well. But back to the point. On TikTok, I released a super fun little short vid of these shoes, and I got so much, so much hate for them. I was just like, can y'all back off? Because first of all, for my wedding day, Secondly, I can do whatever the heck I want. And thirdly, there's trolls out there and there's just no time to deal with trolls. Am I right? So besides this, it was brought to my attention that someone was like, girl, you know, you can get those on Amazon. Well, so I went to Amazon and sure enough, they had some very similar shoes there. So I ordered them. That way I could actually do a real legit comparison and then I could go back to them over on the TikToks and be like, listen, listen, this is the real deal. This is your fake. Um, You want the fake habit because from what I've seen when I looked into the box right away, they just, there is no comparison, like no comparing at all whatsoever. To get you excited, yes, I already mentioned that it's the Jimmy Choo. It's the Viola 110s, um, my fairy tale dream wedding heel. Okay, y'all witnessed me receiving the box in the mail. I ended up going to the store physically and just exchanging them for a half size up because after walking around trying them on for a little bit, I was like, I feel like maybe if I had like the 10, it would be better. So technically the size 40, but anyways, um, I ended up switching them out and got them in the store. They fit. Oh my gosh. They are like made for me. Like they fit to a T it's perfect. So anyways, this is the first time I'm going to be unboxing, bagging, whatever. And I hope you guys appreciate it because I don't want to, but I'm going to for you. She's just so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay. Luckily, it's not like a crazy fancy bow, so I think I'll be able to figure it out. Just to give you a breakdown what's in the box once again, it comes with a little Jimmy Choo little card right here, and then also it has its designer dust bag. <laughs> I'm still so excited about these. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what I just pulled out was basically, I just at the store, Pedro was so sweet that he just gave me all these little like, little ball of your foot cushions just to fill in the space or like to kind of protect that suede area too. Cause that I feel like after the long day in them, that's the only portion of my foot that I might feel like it start to like get tender. So anyways, he gave me like a stock in ball pads. Um, but guys, <laughs> I just get so giddy and excited every time like I see anything that relates to the wedding and details, stuff like that. But anyways, here we go. Let me unbox this for you now. So here is the actual Jimmy Choo shoe. Look at her in all of her glory. She is just so magical and just fantastical. Oh my gosh. Like, Look at, look at how she sparkles. Like you're getting a good view of that, right? Like you're just getting, I don't have my ring light on. We're doing the whole daylight, just shining in the window, natural light for you guys today, just so you can get like an actual good view of this shoe and then what I'm about to show you. But anyways, look now, take a good close look at this. This is like the little locket for the tassel. I call it a locket. That's what shape it looks like. But you can see that there's rhinestones on both the front and the back. And look at how chuck full of stones around the ankle. You have the white and you have regular crystal. And it's almost kind of like a gunmetal 
rhinestone almost. The lighting is kind of like glaring out all the stones, but it's notice like how jam packed it is. Like there is not a space on this shoe where you cannot see like a stone of some sort. It is magical. Um, now this is a real ostrich feather. It's so pretty. It's so, so soft. I don't want to lose any of them. And as you can see, even across the toe, it is chuck full of stones. Now you can see that there are just a few little imprints from me, like trying them on at the store. That's from my toesies, unfortunately. Um, but anyways, I'm going to put them on for you here in a little bit, but I just want to show you the comparison between the real and then I actually have two dupes for you. But take a good look at also the sole. So you have the designer label, then you have a leather sole, and then it's suede on the toe. And then the bottom is like a soft leather suede bottom. The first pair that's up is from, I'm just reading off of the label, I got both of these pairs on Amazon, but this one's saying, as Moto Women's Wedding Dress Party and Event Stiletto, Heel Pearl Rhinestone Tassel. And I got these in a nine and a half size because I think that's all they had available. I don't really remember. But anyways, let me go into them now. So, okay, right away pulling them out of the box because I know what I owned and had otherwise in the designer. I was like, Haha, this is pure junk. But just giving you a close-up view of it, like even right away, right away she does not sparkle it's like the stones are dull no one wants a dull wedding heel okay you can totally see the difference obviously this one is made way better because it's not folding and creasing in weirdly like that but close-up view look at the stone edge like this is crap like this is not a good heel at all yes i think it was like maybe 40 dollars but not worth it in my opinion like this is just shit so anyways right there you can see the stones you do have the zipper back which again notice on the zipper there's lots of space without stones right there on the end of the zippers you have rhinestones there on the front they're actually they're just glued on they're not even really like indented into the metal um or whatever you want to call it they're just like kind of here on the side they definitely are going to start popping off but then on the back of it it's just plain silver there's no stones there it looks super cheap the feather is definitely it's not as soft i don't know what type of feather it is but it just feels like a regular boa party feather type thing Across the toe then, you have the stones, but it, it's just not sparkly. It's not as sparkly, it's not good. And for the sole of the shoe, I will say that you do have leather up here and then it goes into more of the suede part on the toe. On the bottom now, it is shiny. And it actually looks like they're, I have not put these on yet, but it kind of seems like they've been tried on and returned and now I got them. But they, it's a shiny bottom, so you definitely would need to scratch this up. Otherwise, you're going to slip and fall on your butt. Um, so yeah, this is one pair. Now for the second dupe. Again, Amazon, the box is just saying most modern. It's handmade in China. Great to have on the box. Brand, I think, is Hinnerin. H-I-N-Y-Y-R-I-N. I'll have both of these. I'll have everything listed down below for you. But anyways, here we go. Here is the second dupe. Now, I will admit these are way nicer than the first dupe that I just showed you. Just like first glimpse out of the box, taking the packaging off and everything like that. So first thing I noticed was that you do have stones on the front and throughout the entire little locket there for the tassel. They are encrusted with stones and these actually look like they're, they have like a little groove where the stone actually sets into. Not saying that they look like they're in there very well, so they still could pop off, but it's better quality than the other one. The tassel, again, it feels kind of like a party city tassel, but at least it's kind of a little bit more intact than the other one. Look at how full the Jimmy Choo one is. Like this just looks like lame like look at how sad this feather is it's just no comparison as for the stoning it's definitely way better than the first dupe but like you can still see space where there is not stones on there 
Let's get a good view on the zipper. Let me compare it to the Jimmy. And yeah, again, it's just automatically, you can tell like this cost and is luxurious. Yes, like it is. It was a pretty, pretty penny, lots and lots of pennies. But especially for what it is, that's where I'm like, she is worth it to me. If it was just for a nice going out pair of heel and I didn't have money like that to spend all the time, then obviously I'm thinking this one might be a decent dupe. We're gonna try her on and see. That it's just a nicer little zipper. It's a little bit more intact throughout there. And for the soling, it is leather into the suede toe right there. Again, the bottom is this shiny little bottom so you definitely if you had these you would want to scuff them up on the concrete or with a knife just so you don't bust it the first dupe on now the very first pair that i was like totally not impressed with i will say on my foot looking in the mirror they look way better on than they do up close out of the box now the feather is definitely way more full in comparison to the second dupe. I don't like though, look at, look at the locket, how it's on, like it has like this little ring here where it can slide from side to side. So it's not going to stay centered on your ankle and foot. So it just kind of looks like lopsided, you know, like what's wrong with this? But anyways, these are so so big like you can tell look at the space here uh, between my heel how it's kind of like bowing out it's bowing out on both sides of my foot it's huge here across the toe but this is way too big my toes are like right up at the edge of this and these are a nine and a half so that's why i needed the 10 in the actual designer ones because i have long toes but this is too big like it's just, they're too big. My foot's just sliding everywhere in them. I mean, the zipper was really hard to like, it's like hard to like get down there. We finally got it down. So it's just not like great quality in that sense. At least it went up okay. And just to show you like a little bit more full length view, what they would look like if you paired it with an outfit. They're just not great. Like they're just way too big. My toes are like hanging off. I just don't feel comfortable in these whatsoever. The price mark on these are $48. So heck of a lot cheaper, but you definitely can tell. And I just think that they're like, I wouldn't like, I'm not keeping these obviously, but I wouldn't even be happy with them if I ordered them otherwise. And here is the dupe number two. So right away, again, putting them on my foot, I like these way, way better than I did that first dupe pair that I just had on. But do look at the difference. Look at these tassels. First of all, they're, they're just sad. They look so skinny. It's like feathers fell out. It's just, it's like, I wish that wasn't even there for these because it's so sad, like how they look. But let me lift these up a little bit for you. I will say though that they glisten a lot better than the other ones, but we already knew that from me just holding them up, showing you out of the box. Um, they do feel a little bit big still. They're definitely not as bad as the first pair. Like they're not gapping around my heel. So that's good. It's not doing that big old like pooch out thing. They do feel a little bit loose across my toe, but again, it's a little bit better. They do feel a little loose. Like I wouldn't want these to stretch out at all. If you were to choose a pair, if you want these in your lives, I think the second pair, the ones I have on right now, would definitely be the route to go. The only thing I'm not loving about these is the tassel. I want them to be more full because right now it's just they're too skinny for my liking. But as far as the sizing, I feel like the sizing fits well. They don't feel super big on my foot. Like walking around, they feel like they're comfortable. So these aren't terrible for them only being $49. Lovelies, we have made it to the actual designer shoe. These are the Jimmy Choo's and it's like no comparison. As soon as I put these bad boys on, oh my gosh, like I just feel, first of all, I just, they feel so supportive, like around my foot here. Like this is, they are a little bit tighter around my ankle. As you can see, they still move and I can still get my finger under there. So it's not like it's tight and digging in. 
That's where the nine and a half in the first video that I showed you of the Jimmy Choo's, that's where the size difference. These are the 10 right now, the size 40. This is where that made a difference. And then also around the edge of my toes, like look at how full the feather is. It's so pretty. It's just so soft and it flows perfectly in the wind. Like each delicate little feather does its own thing. You can just tell how much it shines on its own. Otherwise, like look at the back view of them. They just look beautiful and just make your foot look like a model foot. And there is by no means that I have a model foot. I'm a dancer, I have hideous feet. So for these shoes to make my feet look as nice as they do, um, yes, I'm gonna take it. Look real close at the shoes right now, like the stonage, like you can just see how much nicer it is. These are obviously Swarovski crystals on these versus the other ones where they look super dull. You can see the difference where it's like the white studs and then just rhinestones. Look at how full the feather is. Look at how much they shine. Like, I know, I know these cost a decent amount, but holy, oh my gosh, they are just so magical and I love them and no one can tell me any different because they are the most amazing heel I ever have seen and owned in my life. And I can't believe that they're actually on my foot. Okay, but back to how they actually wear. So I will admit these Jimmy Choo's on my foot, if you're not like a high heel gal, and you might notice these feel, I don't think that they're much taller, but they definitely have like, maybe like a 0.5 extra like arch. It's not the height of the heel, it's how much you have in the arch of your foot. So like the pitch forward of your foot. Just to give you a lineup view of how they look, this is the backside, obviously. I'll give you a front here in a second, but I have them in the order of, this is the first dupe, the second dupe, and then your designer shoe. So just letting you see them up close in comparison, I'll do a little scansies for you. Yes, I'm laying on my belly trying to get the perfect view for you guys. But you can tell, like you can just tell the difference. I'm not saying, I mean, for four, for $50, these two pair, I guess, honestly, like aren't bad options. I definitely think that this pair right here is worth the $50 if you're wanting the designer look for less. Like I do think that that is a good option. I thought that these were all the same height. You can definitely tell that the Jimmy Choo are a tad bit taller than both of the dupes. So I have them in height order as well. The Jimmy Choo is taller than the very first pair of dupes. Not by much, but definitely you can see the heel, like where that line is. This one is just a smidgen taller than here. And then this one, I wanna say it's probably like, I don't even think it's a half an inch, but you definitely got maybe like a fourth inch difference in there. It's like the heel is like the shape of it. How I said how automatically I felt supported and sturdy in my heel when I put those on. Look at how it's just very stiff. Not like it's cutting in in that sense, but the shape of the heel. It has like a nice cup shape where your foot just locks in. Where these, you can see that they're like bendy and flimsy. Like they're not supportive leather heels. Like they just, that's where I feel like this one for sure, how that one was super big on my foot. I feel like if this had a little more structure to it, they would feel better. Here is the front view now. So just looking at them, they're in the same order. You have the designer, dupe two, dupe one. Um, you can see the difference. Obviously the main difference looking straight ahead at them is the ostrich feather. Unfortunately, the dupe that I like the most, that feather is super, super sad. Like that's just like no point. The two dupes are the same where it has crystals on the locket, but then over here on the designer pair, that's definitely more of like that gunmetal stone. So I feel like that also helps the shoe, like the feather just stand out more because your eye doesn't go straight to the rhinestones on the locket right away. Looking across the toes, you can see the stones like way better right now. This has your least amount of stones. That's not bad. You have mostly like crystals you don't have hardly any white in there and over here no brainer as far as color goes this is the closer color 
to the Jimmy Choo. But the shade right here, this is a lighter, more fair tone shade of beige, we'll say. And on my foot, this looked nicer than those, but also this fit my foot nicer than those. But just in case that's something that you need to look at, these right here are a more fair beige, where this and this one are more of like your actual tan um, brown. I feel like I noticed this one being darker on because it has less crystals, whereas the Jimmy Choo is chock full of crystals and you don't even notice that on your foot. So my lovelies, that's going to wrap it up for this review on the Jimmy Choo Viola 110s versus as your dupes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that I went through, I think I went through all the details that I possibly could. Obviously, I absolutely love the designer, the Jimmy Choo's. Yes, for the price point, they are up there. I'm not going to lie to you. I would not be spending that money unless it was for the reasoning that I chose to spend that money. I'll have all of this information listed down below. Do not worry, I'll have the dupes, I'll have the designer, whatever you need. If I miss something, just let me know down in the comments. You can ask me questions whenever you like. I am an open book and I am here for you guys. If you enjoyed this little review of the designer versus the lookalike, then I would love it if you gave the video a thumbs up. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, if you just click that button right there in the center, that's going to subscribe you to the channel and I'm going to love you forever. And if you hit the bell that's down below, that's going to notify you every single time I upload a video, which there's more videos on the side to keep you entertained until I see you next time. I hope you lovely stay safe and stay healthy and ta-ta!